got the muffler, uh, regular front end, Dynaswivel tool operates by Standard Cherry Max, we insert the rivet stem. And remove it the way it went in. The same nose tip works for the smaller diameters. This is an eighth inch, so 316 through eighth inch is the same part. So we have to uh, take off the nose tube, set it aside, and then we take off the jaws and the jaw holder, set that aside. You need the spring to operate, and again we have our puller shaft which goes on to the shoulder tight and then what we do is we put our nose tube over and now we are ready to put on either the right angle you can back that out just a little John extend it straight head First, we're going to put on this head. Again, it's the same as last time where we catch the uh, threads there and then turn it all the way in on the puller shaft before we engage the outer threads into the sleeve. And you can see that it's moving inside. And this can be turned at whatever angle necessary. Again, operation and release. Checking the rivet to make sure that goes in there correctly. This is the blind bolt setup for the PT100. Um, it uh, requires the return spring, but before we put that on, we need to put the jaw pusher spring down the jaw pusher and then this special follower as well. So we've got that right there, and then we put the uh, return spring on, followed by the three piece jaws. Again, you could use your rivet stem to help guide these jaws into place. A pencil or some object that you put down inside there. And then that screws on. piece on there. And then it operates just as normal. Put in your blind bolt.
and you know the, this configuration is the same for any of the uh, FSI tools, whether it be the D700, the PT100, or the PT4000. Uh, you want to switch to the F123 jaws, the three-piece when you're pulling the uh, NAS 1400A code parts, as you can see here, 332nd, eighth inch, 532nd, and 316th and the corresponding color noses for each diameter. We're pulling the MLS um, or the NAS 1919-1921 series uh, single action rivets. Uh, again, uh, any of the FSI tools would be configured the same way with the F123 jaws and the jaw housing nose tube and then the appropriate nose piece uh, for the different diameters, uh, eighth inch, five thirty seconds, and three sixteenths. And to verify that the parts are single action with the huck parts, there is an S stamped on the bottom of the rivet, which is indicated here. You can see that. All right, very good. Okay, I'm going to put it down, and then. It and you can back it.